board of andhra pradesh uh, class 10 mathematics some applications of trigonometry chapter 9 solutions exercise 9.1 page number 203 a circus artist is climbing a 20 meters long rope which is tightly stretched and tied from the top of a vertical pole to the ground. Find the height of the pole. If the angle made by the rope with the ground level is 30 degrees. Now observe the picture. Solution. Length of the rope is 20 meters and angle made by the rope with the ground level is 30 degrees. Given AC 20 meters and angle C 30 degrees. To find height of the pole, let AB be the vertical pole. In right angle ABC, using a sine formula, sine 30 degrees equal to opposite side AB by hypotenuse AC. Using the value of sin 30 degrees uh, is 1 by 2. We have 1 by 2 equal to AB by 20. AB equal to 20 by 2. That equal to AB equal to 10. Therefore, the height of the pole is uh, 10 meters. Second question. A tree breaks due to the storm and the broken part bends so that the top of the tree touches the ground making an angle 30 degrees with it. The distance between the foot of the tree to the point where the top touches the ground is 8 meters. To find the height of the tree. Yes, here we observe the picture. This is the AB is the height of the tree. And angle made by the tree equal to 30 degrees. Using given instructions, draw a figure. Let AC be the broken part of the tree. Angle C equal to 30 degrees. BC equal to 8 meters. To find height of the tree, which is AB, from the figure, total height of the tree is the sum of AB and AC. Therefore, AB plus AC. In right angle ABC, using cosine and tangent angles, cos 30 degrees equal to adjacent side BC by hypotenuse AC. We know cos 30 equal to root 3 by 2. So, root 3 by 2 equal to 8 by AC. AC equal to 16 by root 3. Also, tan 30 equal to opposite side AB by adjacent side BC. So, 1 by root 3 equal to AB by 8. So, AB equal to 8 by root 3. This is the second one. Therefore, the total height of the tree AB plus AC equal to 16 by root 3 plus uh, 8 by root 3. Therefore, 20 by root 3. We rationalize the value. We get uh, 8 by root 3. This is the total height of the tree. Third one, a contractor plans to install two slides for the children to play in the park for the children below the age of 5 years. She prefers to have a slide whose top is at a height of 1.0 meters and is uh, inclines the, at an angle of 30 to the ground. Whereas for elder children, she wants to have 
a step slide at a height of 3 meter and uh, inclines at an angle of uh, 60 degrees to the ground. What should be the length of the slide in each case? Now we observe these pictures. As per contra contractor's plan, let ABC is the slide inclined at 30 degrees with length AC and PQR is. The slide inclined at 60 with angle PR to find AC and PR. In right angle ABC, sin 30 equal to opposite side AB by hypotenuse AC. So, 1 by 2 equal to 1.5 by AC. Therefore, AC equal to 3. Also, in triangle, right angle PQR, sin 60 degrees equal to PQ by PR. Opposite, sorry, adjacent by hypotenuse. Sin 60 opposite by hypotenuse. So, PR equal to 2 by root 3. Hence, length of the slide for below 5 years is 3 meters. And length of the slide for elder children is 2 root 3 meters. The angle of elevation of the top of a tower from a point on the ground which is 30 meters away from the foot of the tower is 30 degrees to find the height of the tower. Now observe the picture. Let A be the height of the tower and C is the point elevation which is 30 meters away from the foot of the tower. To find AB, height of the tower, in right ABC, right triangle ABC, tan 30 equal to opposite side by adjacent side AB by BC. So, 1 by root 3 equal to AB by 30, AB equal to tan root 3. Thus, the height of the tower is... Uh, 10 root 3 meters. A kite is flying at a height of 60 meters above the ground. The string attached to the kite is temporarily tied to a point on the ground. The inclination of the string with the ground is 60 degrees. Find the length of the string assuming that there is no slack in the string. Now observe this picture. Draw a figure based on the given instructions. Let BC height of the kite from the ground. BC equal to 60 meters. AC equal, AC equal to Inclined length of the string from the ground and A is the point where string of the kite is tied. To find the length of the string from the ground, that is the value of AC, from the above figure, sin 60 degrees equal to opposite side BC by hypotenuse AC. So, root 3 by 2 equal to 60 by AC. Therefore, AC equal to 40 by 40 root 3 meters. Thus, the length of the string from the ground is 40 root 3 meters. A 1.5 meter tall boy is standing at some distance from a 30 meter tall building, the angle of elevation from his eyes uh, to the top of the building uh, increases from uh, 30 to 60 degrees uh, as he walks towards the building. 
to find the distance he walked to the building. Yes, here the picture. Let the boy initially stands at a point o, Y, which inclination 30 degrees, and then he approaches the building to the point X uh, with inclination 60 degrees. To find the distance, Y walked towards the building XY from figure XY equal to CD. Height of the building equal to AZ equal to 28.5 meters. Measure of AB is 28.5 meters. In right triangle ABD, tan 30 degrees equal to AB by BD. 1 by root 3 equal to 28.5 by BD. So, BD equal to 28.5 root me meters. Again, in right triangle ABC, tan 60 degrees equal to Opposite side by adjacent side AB by BC. Root 3 equal to 28.5 by BC. So BC equal to 28.5 by root 3. That equal to 28. by root 3 by 3. Therefore, the length of BC is 28.5 root 3 by 3 meters. XY equal to CD equal to BD minus BC. That equal to 28.5 root 3 minus 28.5 root 3 by 3. That equal to 28.5 root 3 into 1 minus 1 by 3. So, that equal to 28.5 root 3 into 2 by 3. That equal to 57 by root 3 that equal to 19 by root 3 meters sorry 19 root 3 meters thus the distance by walked towards the building is 90 19 root 3 meters From a point on the ground, the angle of elevation of the bottom and the top of uh, a transmission tower fixed at the top of uh, 20 meter height building are 45 degrees and uh, 60 degrees respectively. Find the height of the tower. Now, this is the picture. Let BC be the height of the building. D is the point on the ground from where the elevation is taken. Height of the transmission tower AB equal to AC minus BC. To find AB, height of the tower from figure in right triangle B, C, D, tan 45 degrees equal to opposite side B, C by adjacent side C, D. So, we know tan 45 degrees equal to 1. So, 1 equal to 20 by C, D. C, D equal to 20. Again, in right triangle A, C, D. A, C, D. We take tan 60. Tan 60 equal to opposite side AC by adjacent side CD. So, root 3 equal to AC by 20. AC equal to 20 root 3. 
now AB equal to AC minus BC that equal to 20 root 3 minus 20 that equal to 20 into root 3 minus 1. So thus the height of a transmission tower is uh, 20 into root 3 minus 1 meters. A statue one point meter tall stands on the top of a pedestal. From a point on the ground, the angle of elevation of the top of the statue is uh, 60 degrees and from the same point, the angle of elevation of the top of the pedestal is uh, 45 degrees. Uh, find the height of the pedestal. So this is the height of the pedestal. We have to find the value of OBC. Let AB be the height of the statue and D is the point on the ground from where the elevation is taken to find uh, height of the pedestal BC equal to AC minus AB. From figure in right triangle BCD can 45 degrees equal to BC by opposite side BC by adjacent side uh, CD. So, 1 equal to BC by CD, BC equal to CD. This is the 1. Again, in right triangle ACD, tan 60 degrees equal to opposite side AC by adjacent side CD. So, root 3 equal to AB plus BC by CD. We know AC equal to AB plus BC. So, root 3 cd equal to 1.6 plus bc root 3 bc equal to 1.6 plus bc we know bc equal to cd from 1 so root 3 bc minus bc equal to 1.6 bc into root 3 minus 1 equal to 1.6 bc equal to 1.6 into root 3 plus 1 by root 3 minus 1 into root 3 plus 1. We rationalize the value root 3 minus 1. So, BC equal to 1.6 into root 3 plus 1 by 2 meters. Thus, BC equal to 0 0.8 into root 3 plus 1. This is the height of the pedestal. So, thus the height of the pedestal is a uh, 0 0.8 into root 3 plus 1 meters. This is the height of the pedestal. The angle of elevation of the top of a building from the foot of the tower is 30 and the angle of elevation of the top of the tower from the foot of the building is 60 degrees. If the tower is 50 meters height, Find the height of the building. Yes, here this is the required picture. Let CD be the height of the tower. AB is the height of the building. BC be the distance between the foot of the building and the tower. Elevation is 30 degrees and 60 degrees from the tower and the building respectively. In right triangle B, C, D, 
in right triangle BCD tan 60 degrees equal to opposite side CD by adjacent side BC. So root 3 equal to 50 by BC. BC equal to 50 root 3. This is uh, equation 1. Again, in right triangle ABC, A, B, C, tan 30 equal to AB by BC. 1 by root 3 equal to AB by BC. We use result obtained in equation 1. So, AB equal to 50 by root 3. Thus, the height of the building is 50 by 3 meters. The height of the building is 50 by 3 meters. Next, 10th question. Two pillars of equal heights are standing opposite each other on either side of the road, which is 80 meters wide. From a point between them on the road, the angle of elevation of the top of the pole are, poles are 60 and 30 degrees respectively. Find the height of the poles and the distance of the point from the poles. This is the required picture. Let AB and CD be the poles of equal heights. O is the point between the between them from where the height of elevation taken. BD is the distance between the poles. As per above figure, AB equal to CD. These are the two equal poles. OB plus OD equal to OB plus OD equal to 80 meters. Now, in right triangle CDO tan 30 equal to CD by OD. 1 by root 3 equal to CD by OD. That equal to CD equal to OD by root 3. This is uh, equation 1. Again, in right triangle ABO, tan 60 degrees equal to AB by OB. Root 3 equal to AB by 80 minus OD. AB equal to root 3 into 80 minus OD. But given AB equal to CD. Yes, root 3, minus, root 3 into 80 minus OD equal to OD by root 3 using equation 1. 3 into 80 minus OD equal to OD. 240 minus 3 OD equal to OD. 4 OD equal to 240 and OD equal to 60. Putting the value of OD in equation 1, CD equal to OD by root 3, CD equal to 60 by root 3. So, CD equal to 20 root 3 meters. Also, OB plus OD equal to 80 meters. Therefore, OB equal to 80 minus 60. That equal to 20 meters. Thus, the height of the poles are 20 root 3 meters and the distance from the point of elevation are 20 meters and 60 meters respectively. A TV tower stands vertically on a bank of canal from a point on the other bank directly opposite to the tower, the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 60 degrees. From another point 20 meters away from this point on the line joining this point on the foot of the tower, the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 30 degrees. Find the height of the tower and the width of the canal. 
Yes, this is the required feature. Given AB is the height of the tower. CD equal to 20 meters. As per given diagram in right triangle, ABD, tan 30 degrees is equal to AB by BD. 1 by root 3 equal to AB by 20 plus BC. That equal to AB equal to 20 plus BC by root 2. This is equation 1. Again, in right triangle, ABC tan 60 degrees equal to AB by BC. Root 3 equal to AB by BC. AB equal to root 3 BC. This is equation 2. From equation 1 and 2, we get root 3 BC equal to 20 plus BC by root 3. So, 3 BC equal to 20 plus BC. That implies 2 BC equal to 20 and BC equal to 10. Putting the value of BC in equation 2, AB equal to 10 root 3. This implies the height of the tower is 10 root 3 meters and the width of the canal is 10 meters. This is the width of the canal is 10 meters and the height of the tower AB equal to 10 root 3 meters. Twelfth question. From the top of a 7 meter height building, the, uh, the angle of elevation of the top of a cable tower is 60 degrees and the angle of depression of its foot is 45 degrees. Determine the height of the tower. Yes, this is the required picture. Let a B be the building of height 7 meters. This is the building of 7 meters and uh, E C be the height of the tower. Uh, A is the point from where elevation of the tower is uh, 60 degrees. And the angle of depression of its uh, foot is uh, 45 degrees. EC, EC equal to DE plus CD. Also, CD equal to AB equal to 7 meters and BC equal to AD. To find EC, height of the tower, design a figure based on given instructions. In right triangle ABC, Turn 45 degrees equal to AB by BC. 1 equal to 7 by BC. BC equal to 7. Since BC equal to AD, so AD is also 7. Again from right triangle ADE. Tan 60 degrees equal to opposite side DE by adjacent side AD. Thus, root 3 equal to DE by 7. That implies uh, DE equal to 7 root 3 meters. Now, EC equal to DE plus CD. So, 7 root 3 plus 7 equal to 7 into root 3 plus 1. Therefore, the height of the tower is... Uh, 7 into root 3 plus 1 meters. The height of the tower is 7 into root 3 plus 1 meters. Thirteenth sum. As observed from the top of a 75 meters high Lighthouse from the sea level, the angle of depression of two ships are 30 degrees and 45 degrees. If one ship is exactly behind the other on the same side of the lighthouse, find the distance between the two ships. 
Yes, this is the required figure. Let A B be the lighthouse of height 25 meters. Let C and D be the position of ships. 30 degrees and 45 degrees are the angles of depression from the lighthouse. Draw a figure based on given instructions. This is the required figure. To find CD, the distance between two ships. From right triangle A, B, C, from right triangle A, B, C, can 45 degrees equal to opposite side A, B by A, adjacent side B, C. So, 1 equal to 75 by B, C. B, C is also equal to 75 degrees. Steps 2. From right triangle A, B, D, can 30 degrees equal to opposite side A, B by A, adjacent side B, D. So, 1 by root 3 equal to 75 by BD. BD equal to 75 by 75 root 3. Step 3. To find measure of CD, use the result obtained in step 1 and step 2. CD equal to BD minus BC. That equal to 75 root 3 minus 75. That equal to 75 into root 3 minus 1. So, the distance between the two ships is 75 into root 3 minus 1. This is the required answer. The distance between two ships is 75 into root 3 minus 1 meters. Next, 14th sum. If 1.2 meter tall goal sports a balloon moving with the wind in horizontal line at a height of 88.2 meters from the ground the angle of elevation of the balloon from the eyes of the girl at any instant is 60 degrees after some time the angle of elevation reduces to 30 degrees find the distance traveled by the balloon dur during the interval Yes, this is the required uh, figure. Let the initial position of the balloon be A and uh, final position be B. This is the uh, initial and final positions of balloons. Height of the balloon above the girl. Height of the balloon above the goal height is 88.2 meters minus 1.2 meters equal to 87 meters. To find distance traveled by the balloon, DE equal to CE minus CD. Let us redesign the given figure as per our convenience. Step 1. In right triangle uh, B E C, in right triangle B E C, can 30 degrees is equal to opposite side B E by adjacent side E C. So 1 by root 3 equal to 87 by E C. E C equal to 87 root 3. Step 2. In right triangle A D C, can 60 degrees equal to A D by C D. That equal to root 3 equal to 87 by CD. CD equal to 87 root 3. That implies 29 root 3. Step 3. DE equal to EC minus CD. That equal to 87 root 3 minus 29 root 3 equal to 29 root 3 into 3 minus 1. That implies 58 root 3. Therefore, the distance travelled by the balloon equal to 57 root 3 meters. 
which is the distance traveled by the balloon. Fifteenth question. A straight highway leads to the foot of the tower. A man standing at the top of the tower observes a car at an angle of depression of 30 degrees which is approaching the foot of the tower with a uniform speed. Six seconds later, the angle of depression of the car is found to be 60 degrees. Find the time taken by the car to reach the foot of the tower from this point. Yes, this is the required figure. Let A B be the tower. D is the initial point and C is the final position of the car respectively. Since the man is standing on the top of the tower. So, angle of depression are measured from A. BC is the distance from the foot of the tower to the car. Step 1. In right triangle ABC, can 60 degrees equal to opposite side AB by adjacent side BC. Root 3 equal to AB by BC. BC equal to AB by root 3. So AB equal to root 3 BC. Step 2. In right triangle ABD, can 30 degrees equal to AB by BD. That equal to 1 by root 3 equal to AB by BD. So, AB equal to BD by root 3. Step 3. From step 1 and step 2, we have root 3 BC equal to BD by root 3. Since LHS are same, so RHS are also same. So, 3 BC equal to BD. 3 BC equal to BC plus CD. BC equal to CD or BC equal to CD by 2. There, here, distance of BC is uh, distance of BC is uh, half of uh, CD. Thus, the time taken is also half. Time taken by car to travel distance CD equal to 6 seconds. Time taken by car to travel BC equal to 6 by 2. That equal to 3 seconds. Thank you.